a leader's promotion too, as in also the who, the why, and the what of promoting. Now, I love talking about promotions because so many organizations all around the world do it the same way. You have someone on your team that sells a million dollars worth of product, it's pretty likely that they will be offered the sales manager position. And it doesn't mean that they know how to lead anyone. All it does mean is they know how to sell a million dollars worth of product their way. And typically when other people on their team don't do it their way, now it's a problem. That's not how we promote. Now in other videos that you may have watched, books of mine that you may have read, I've talked about a leader's promotion. And that's about the person receiving the promotion. And to quickly recap, when you are offered the promotion, you're taking that promotion you're oh so wanted. It's so important to know what the company is expecting of you. Because you, we may want to keep on doing what got us there. And what got us there is no longer the job. Your job with the promotion is to do the people that did your old tasks, plus some new tasks that may not be your skill set. So know what the company is expecting of you. Okay. Then we also want to know how far our authority spans. How far does your authority span? Always enhance your superpowers. Know how to delegate like a leader. And then network. Network at your level, below your level, above your, your level, and beyond your level. Check in some, to some of my other videos to find out more about that or my books. Today I want to talk to you about a leader's promotion too the person and you as a leader actually giving the promotion and offering. There's a couple big things that will enhance not only your leadership and work-life harmony, but also theirs and the organization. So let's start with the who. Now, when I'm doing promotions, thinking about a promotion, when you're thinking about a promotion, it's twofold. One, are they the three Ps? Are they positive, productive, and passionate about the job? So are they positive? How do they show up to the Zoom calls, to emails? Email etiquette is huge. How do they show up to the office? Smiling, head up, eyes up, doing their best and being their best. Are they passionate about the organization, the mission, their vision, and do you know what it is? And then lastly, you know, are they productive? Because at the end of the day, leadership without results mean that you will not be leading for very long. The second part of who is do they want it? So many times as leaders in organizations, we may be promoting based on skill, not connection. It's important that they have both. Do they have what it takes to do the job? And then also, do they have what it takes to connect with the people they are leading as well as, well as the customers and clients regarding connection? So why do they want it? Now that leads us into the next part, the why. And the why is twofold. Why do you want to give it? Why do they want it? So the why do you want to give it? Do they have the three Ps? Do they know how to connect? Are you bringing someone on board for the right reason? Now I recently went through this. Now I was having an idea in my mind and this all happened within 30 seconds. I am very fortunate enough to have the best assistant on the planet. Nicole, you know who you are, the best assistant on the planet. And as her responsibilities grow, I want to be sure that I'm not overwhelming her. So I had an idea. I could bring someone else on also as an assistant. And then my assistant, Nicole, can lead that person. She could be promoted and then train that person. And all of a sudden, I felt myself going down the path that I just warned you about. I was about to promote my assistant based on skill. And she's highly skilled at what she does. However, does she have the connection ability, the leadership ability to coach, lead, and mentor someone that's under her? I don't know that. So when that's the case, why do you want to give it? Do they have this ability? And when they don't, what do you have in plan to train them, coach them, and mentor them so that as your organization grows, so does the leadership, so does the culture, so does the connection. 
The other part of why is why do they want it? Let's face it, most people, and you included, may have a hard time turning down more money, more prestige, something that builds our ego, something that will make us more secure, and it is hard to go home and tell your significant other, your kids, your family, your lifestyle that you're going to turn down something that will help everyone. So people take a promotion for all the wrong reasons. Why do they want it? Not only why do they want it, what's their vision for the team? And then what are their vision factors? The three to five things that when they do these things consistently, the vision takes care of itself. And does their vision align with our mission statement as a company? The last thing is the what. Now the what can be extensive because when you are going to promote this person that you have in mind, it's imperative that as a leader, not only do they have the skill set, but they have these abilities and these concepts. And I've been able to teach them in my book, Seven Ways to Lead, my next book, depending on when you're watching this, The Leader's Toolbox. Do they know the leader's seven? The seven languages that your people need, want, and benefit most hearing from leadership. As leaders, we must be able to speak all seven. However, you and each of your people have a top one or two. Can they speak all seven? Can they speak it in casual times and in tough conversations? Do they know the leaders nicely? So many times we lead, love, and teach lazy. The way that's easiest for us. There's four big ways that people learn. Hands-on, written, verbal, and auditory. Have you asked your people? Do they know your people? And can they communicate? Are they willing to communicate in that manner so they're not banging their head against the wall, teaching new people and getting frustrated and negatively impacting their leadership and your culture? Do they know the leaders three? We talked about it briefly. Do they know their vision and vision factors? What expectations do they have for their staff and their people? And then what are some of the rules and guidelines that are going to lead towards being elite? Do they know about the one-on-one -on -one meetings? Are they gonna have them? It's the number one canceled and rescheduled meeting across all organizations. Will the leader that you promote have them? And we always start with the positive of the week. What would you like to get out of our meeting here today? You wanna mesh goals because that meeting isn't an accident. What, what goals do you have for them? What's the plan? And then asking them their biggest takeaway. What was your big takeaway from our meeting here today? Making sure the meeting is more about them and evolution of the company and the team and not just your metrics. And then lastly, does your leader that you're going to promote know how to have effective meetings? One of my biggest pet peeves is 17 meetings and nothing has gotten done and you know what I'm talking about. So are their meetings, are they prepared to have their meetings be punctual and productive and allows an evolution with a plan with every meeting building off of each other. Do they know how to listen and listen to everyone? Not only the ones that tell them how great they are, not only the ones that they value as emerging leaders. Do they know how to listen to the grouches? Do they, knew, do they know how to listen to the people that challenge them? And instead of saying or shushing them, how about what are they right about? So how do they listen and use meetings to get the valid points from every type of employee to best build and enhance the organization, the mission, the dream? Guys, that's a leader's promotion too. The who they are. Are they the three P's? And what do they, why do they want it? What's the why for both you and for them? And then now you just heard what? Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this really resonated with you because as a leader, you're going to have to promote at some point. And it's so important that we are intentional about how we, how you show up because nobody will want your job if they and when they believe your job makes them as miserable as you could look walking around the office. And when you do offer that promotion, now we know who we're offering it to, why we're offering it, and what they need, making you look great. Guys, thank you so much. If you like this, you're going to love everything at youevolvingnow.com. That's Y-O-U, evolvingnow.com. 